you were your own worst enemy. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's it. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most emotional Judge Judy moments. Number 10, an uninvited baby mama. A Callie Carter, the plaintiff, tried suing the father of her children, Quinton Fitchard, after an altercation between them took place at his mother's home. Her story begins to fall apart when Judge Judy grills her on the hot bench. Through some pinpoint prodding, we find out that Akali might have problems with boundaries, controlling Quinton's rights as a father, and possibly some ill will towards his girlfriend. This is a dreary case, especially considering that it involves children. But watching Fitchard's face light up when he learns about filing for a paternity order makes it seem a bit brighter. Number 9. Trying to keep his kids Carmela Minacci and her mother-in-law Nancy aim to sue the father of Carmela's kids, Joshua Mendez, for claiming her children on his taxes. Judge Judy tries to establish a timeline of the events and makes it clear to everyone how unfit Carmela and Nancy were as caregivers. It's then that we stumble upon the gut-wrenching decision Joshua had to make when he fell on some really tough times. Due to being homeless at the time and not actually having a place to stay. He ended up on the streets and decided to give up custody of his kids so they could live a better life. Number 8. A Marine Gets Swindled Eddie Elder, a Marine, has a strong need to give back to his community, which is why he tried to help Michael McKenty get back on his feet. He welcomed him with open arms by letting McKenty into his home, buying him a truck for his job, and even paying for an acupuncture session. This charming veteran managed to pull a chuckle from our favourite judge too. We later learn that McKenty filed a protective order against Elder, besmirched his name, and also claimed that Elder had stolen money from him. It's awful to see someone so compassionate get conned, but justice was certainly served in Judy's courtroom. Number 7. Who Broke the Baby's Leg? If you're a parent, this might be your worst nightmare. Due to some obvious and appalling negligence on the part of Heather Scherer, the woman who was running a daycare centre, an infant was severely injured. The plaintiff's nine-year-old child was playing pretty rough with their newborn, but instead of separating them, the daycare worker just asked the nine-year-old to play nicely. This line actually made Judge Jury angry laugh at how absurd that was. It is agonizing to hear the mother talk about what happened in gruesome detail and the daycare worker standing by her position. We're just glad that the baby is okay. Number 6. Being woken up with boiling water Living with someone who struggles with an addiction is not easy, but instead of kindness and understanding, Kylie Jones was met with boiling hot water being poured on her as she slept. Her roommate at the time was sick of her addiction and decided that scolding her was a reasonable way to deal with it. As soon as she tries to spin the story her way, Judge Judy shuts her down and focuses on Kylie. She gives her a stern talking to about her drug abuse, but quickly shifts to a softer tone and assures her that what happened was not right. Seeing Kylie whimper her agreement makes our eyes water every time. Number 5. A Mother Abandoned Her Daughter Family members suing each other is a recipe for heartbreak, but this one takes the cake. Vivian Hammond was trying to receive reparations for putting her daughter's electricity bills in her name. After looking at the bare facts, Judge Judy prods the plaintiff a little more, and she discovers that Vivian had voluntarily given up her daughter to social services when she was just 10 or 8. There's a bit of an argument there. Due to supposed behavioural issues, Judge Judy is far from pleased after hearing this, and makes that very clear. You can see how distressed and disheartened her daughter is as her mother pleads her case, and it's pretty difficult to watch. Number 4. A man's best friend brings him to tears You're probably feeling a little down after these last few entries, so here's something to cheer you up. In this case, a man was reunited with his kidnapped dog. The defendant claimed that she had purchased the dog and that it was rightfully hers. Judge Judy, being the professional that she is, heard both sides before going all King Solomon in the courtroom. She asked the dog to be brought in, which made the spectating audience gush. But what hit us right in the feels is when Judge Judy asked for the dog to be placed on the floor. This little pooch darts straight for the man and makes him bawl his eyes out. Number 3. Grieving Mother Sued for Non-Payment of Son's Burial when it comes to a case as sensitive and saddening as this, there are no real winners. 
a funeral home owner had to sue a woman who had not paid her dues for her son's funeral. You wanted a proper burial for your son. The company did offer a free burial service to her, but the defendant, Cheryl Torres, wasn't keen on that. She asked for a proper funeral, which cost her $3,000, even though she was not able to pay for it. The part that stings is when Judge Judy tries to understand why Cheryl would choose an option that she couldn't afford. This was a clear-cut case, and thankfully, it wasn't drawn out too long. Number two, Judy gives a heroin addict some advice. Jason Stemple was not in a good place when he appeared on Judge Judy. He had borrowed money from the plaintiff under the pretense of spending it on a drug test, but bought heroin instead. He obviously is in the wrong, but the combination of being unable to answer simple questions and his general confusion will make you feel horrible. Judge Judy ruled in favour of the plaintiff and then gave him some strict but sincere guidance. But I'm going to suggest to you, you're 31 years old. If you want to be 32 years old, you better get yourself some help. And the toll the weight of her words takes on him is plain in his expression. Number one, mother sues grieving mother for damages to her car. Nelda Bailey lost her daughter in a car accident after driving Wendy Moore's car. Wendy sued Nelda for the damage sustained to her son, who was in the passenger seat and her car. Judge Judy became furious when it turned out that Wendy had actually left the keys in the car and let the children drive around as long as they stayed within the property. This whole case is harrowing, particularly when the mother of the deceased breaks down crying. Instead of saying that, you sue her for the damage to your car. You're an idiot. 